I call the next part of the Dinner Special podcast the pressure cooker. I'm going to ask you seven fun and fast questions that we want to know your answers to. Are you up for it? Sure. Okay. Number one, which food shows or cooking shows do you watch? Food shows and cooking shows. I only watch one, and it's um, Master Chef. Perfect. Is Master Chef uh, kids or Master Chef? Master Chef. Both. Okay. <laughs> Great. Number two. <laughs> what are some food blogs or websites we have to know about? Food blogs that you have to know about. Well, I have some friends here whose blogs I love, like Completely Delicious and Two Peas in Their Pod. Also, Foodie Crush and Mountain Mama Cooks. Um, and then nationally, I love 101 Cookbooks. And I love Sprouted Kitchen and Goop and blogs like that that kind of have a similar feel to mine. Great. Now, number three, who do you follow on Pinterest, Instagram, or Twitter that make you happy? <laughs> Probably some of those same bloggers, um, ones who give me inspiration and, and who I feel like um, I can easily go home and make the same dishes that they're making. Great. And number four, what is something all home cooks should have in their pantry? In your pantry? Hmm. A good supply of nuts, I would say. Nuts and dried fruit, peanut butter, or almond butter, and honey. Yes, of course, <laughs> honey. <laughs> number five, name one ingredient you cannot live without. One ingredient. Oh, maple syrup. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you put that in some of your savory stuff as well or just to sweeten I, it up a little bit? I, yeah, sometimes I like will roast um, potatoes or squash with honey, but mainly for the sweet stuff. I would say that and like almond butter. Yeah, perfect. Number six, what are a few cookbooks that make your life better? I'm looking at them. Let's see. I like Heidi Swanson's Supernatural Every Day. The Sprouted Kitchen cookbook that was given to me by a friend. Vegetable Literacy is a good one. And Bountiful um, by a couple of popular bloggers. I like that one too. Those are, those are some of my favorites. Perfect. Now, you mentioned earlier that uh, music sort of helps lighten the mood and sort of makes cooking more fun. Number seven is, what song or album just makes you want to cook? Oh, that's a good question. Um... Well, I always listen to Pandora, so it's kind of mixes up the genres, but I might start with something like maybe John Mayer or something just easy to listen to where I know the words of the songs. Um, Ryan Adams is an old classic. Uh, Loud Harp is a friend of ours who we enjoy his music, so, so maybe one of those. Great. Now, congratulations, Becky. You have officially survived the pressure cooker. <laughs> Yeah. 